No, you you buy furniture. You tell yourself, this is the last sofa I'm ever gonna need. No matter what else happens, I got the sofa issue handled. Then it's the right set of dishes, the right drapes, the right dinette, the right rug. This is how we fill up our lives. Yeah, I guess. Now it's all gone. All gone. Could be worse. I mean, a woman could cut off your penis while you're asleep and toss it out the window of a moving car. <laughs> yeah, there's always that. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's a terrible fucking tragedy. No. I mean, you lost a lot of nice, neat little shit. The trendy paper lambs, the Euro trash shelving unit. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> but maybe, I mean, just maybe, you've been delivered. Delivered from Swedish furniture? Delivered from armchairs and obscure green stripe patterns. <laughs> Delivered from Martha Stewart. Fuck Martha Stewart. Delivered from bullshit colors like cobalt, mm -hmm. ebony, and fuchsia. Nah, insurance will cover it. Yeah, and I gotta make a list. What list? The now I get to buy the exact same stuff all over again list, that list. Nah, I don't it's time think so. maybe get a widescreen TV. You'll be occupied for weeks. I still have to file a claim. Stuff you own really ends up owning you. Don't I? Do what you want. Oh, it's getting late. I should find a hotel. A hotel? Yeah. So, you called me up because you just wanted to have a couple drinks before you go find a hotel. I don't follow. We've gone through an entire case of beer and you still can't ask me. What? You called me so you could have a place to stay. No, 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 I... Why don't you just cut the shit and ask me if you can stay at my place? Would it be a problem? Is it a problem for you to ask? Can I stay at your place? Yes, you can. Thanks. You're welcome. I want you to do me a favor first. What's that? I want you to hit me as hard as you can. <laughs> what? I want you to hit me as hard as you can. I don't know about this, Tyler. I don't know either. I want to find out. I've never been hit before, have you? No, but that's a good thing, isn't it? I don't want to die without any scars. I mean, how much can you really know about yourself unless you've been in a fight? You're the only person I've ever asked. Me? Why not you? I'm, I'm letting you go first. Just do it. This is crazy. Go crazy. Let her rip. Where do you want it? I mean, like in the face? Surprise me. This is so fucking stupid. Ah! Shit! Her fucking ear! Sorry. That didn't count. Like hell. I counted. Oh! How do you feel? Strange. But good strange. Is it? We've crossed the threshold. Yeah, I guess we have. Want to call it off? Call what off? The fight. What fight? This fight. Pussy.
My boss, probably. Who do you fight? My dad. No question. Yeah. I never knew my dad. Well, I mean, I, I knew him, but only until I was six. And he ran off, married another woman, had more kids. Every six years or so, I'd do it again. A new city, new family. We're setting up franchises. My father never went to college, so it was really important that I go. I know. After I graduated, I called him up long distance and asked, now what? He said, I don't know, I got a job. <laughs> I turned 25, I called him and asked, now what? He said, I don't know, get married. Same here. A generation of men raised by women. Makes me wonder if another woman's the answer we really need. We should do this again sometime. 